Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing the architecture of GSM or what architecture just the GSM processes. So uh, this is the architecture of GSM, how it looks like. And so basically this architecture is divided into three main categories. And we have the very first one as the switching system SS, BSS, base station system and the mobile station which are managed by some of the MSCs, that is the mobile switching centers. So we already saw uh, what are these various network nodes or the system nodes which are there in the GSM. So if you want to watch that video, I'll just put in the cards up above. So uh, let's begin. So each of the uh, layer or each of this uh, parts is being comprised of different different databases different different models so we'll be seeing in uh, which layer which all models are being incorporated and so uh, MSCs are connected to uh, relevant VLR databases uh, then VLR that is the visitor location register uh, it stores uh, certain information about the uh, MS that is the mobile station which is a temporary database and located in areas where it's serviced by the local MSCs and so uh, you have this setup so uh, let's uh, move on to the very first that is we have the switching system that is the SS so in SS we have certain components like AUC authentication center which is used for maintaining a secret key for authentication for encoding decoding of the channels and then you have the HLR home location register and then you have the GMSC that is the gateway uh, mobile switching center which is also called as SMSG that is SMS gateway and so one or more MSCs will uh, give you GMSC which is uh, also called as the SMSG that is the short messaging service gateway and uh, this GMSC basically plays the role of a gateway for external networks so these are the other external networks like you have the public switch telephone network PST and you have ISD and you have PSPDNs and all so all these are the various networks uh, to which GMSCs are connected. Next, you have uh, in this that is the SS, you have some EIR that is the equipment identity register. We saw what was EIR, and then you have certain MSCs, mobile switching center, and we have visitor location register VLR. And so, all these are just uh, connected by various interfaces. And so, uh, in this, you have around 10 different interfaces for uh, time being. There are even more. Uh, but to uh, talk about the simplicity of this architecture, let's consider only 10 different interfaces in this. So, the interface which is sitting between the HLR and the GMSC or the HLR and the SMS gateway is the C interface. It has got certain purpose that we'll see in the uh, future videos. Uh, then between the VLR and the GMSC, you have the H interface. Uh, then uh, the interface between the HLR and uh, this MSC VLR both have D interface in between. And the interface connecting between the EIR and the MSC is the S interface. That is, we have the F interface in between. And uh, then between these two, that is the MSC and the VLR, you have one interface that is called as the G interface. And then between two MSCs, there can be two different MSCs for two different honeycomb structures. So uh, between two MSCs, you have E interface and between two VLRs, that is the visitor location register, you have the B interface. Uh, next, well, that was all regarding the switching system. So uh, let's get down below a layer that is layer two. You have the BSS, that is the base station system. So in this, uh, every MSC controls at least one BSS comprising of uh, BSC that is the base station controller and certain BTS that is the base trans receiver stations or some base stations in general. So uh, basically this control gets from here. So this is a component which is at the layer 2 and so this layer 2 gets all the controls from the layer above it. So uh, the uh, BSS layer something looks like this and the interface which connects between this uh, SS that is switching system and the BSS is the A interface whereas uh, in between uh, this BSS you have the BSS controlling multiple uh, BTS or base station. So uh, an interface should be there which existing uh, between them so that is called as the ABIS interface ABIS interface. Uh, next, uh, we have the uh, mobile station, which is uh, layer three, which is outside uh, the mobile users be when used to call to other people. Uh, 
uh, we have this interface which is called as the um interface or the radio interface or the radio waves through which we are communicating it's basically the air medium where all the communication happens and so it has got a couple of interfaces that we saw in this uh, in order to talk in this detail uh, let's see another video on this so well that was all regarding the architecture of gsm so hope you guys enjoyed this video found got educated watching this video please do like share comment and most importantly don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching this video